Our next grammar point is presumptive mood. The presumptive mood expresses a presumed or a probable action. It's an action when speaker does not know whether the action has happened or not, but he presumes that the action has taken place. You can translate such sentences into English with the adverbs presumably, probably, or you can also use maybe. The presumptive sentences in Hindi are formed with the three participles, imperfective or habitual as ata, continuous as araha, and perfective as aya, and the future tense of the verb hona. The forms of the future tense of the verb hona are hunga, hoga, honge, etc. Here are some simple examples of the presumptive sentences. Wo aata hoga, he probably comes. Wo araha hoga, he is probably coming. Wo aya hoga, he has probably come. The word shayad in Hindi that means maybe can also be added to the Hindi sentence, but that is redundant. The presumptive mood itself shows the probable action. So here's the formula how you make the presumptive sentences. You have the subject, then you use the participles, the habitual participle, the continuous participle, or the perfective participle, and the future tense of the verb hona. Ramesh aata hoga, Ramesh probably comes. Ramesh araha hoga, Ramesh is probably coming. Ramesh aya hoga, Ramesh has probably come. Let's now take all three types of presumptive sentences separately. The first one is the presumptive habitual. It's a probable action that happens on a regular basis. It's an action that happens often, that happens habitually. So here's an example. Ye acha restaurant hai, yahan bahut log aate honge. It's a very good restaurant. Presumably many people come here. So this sentence is creating the context and this one in the cloud is expressing the presumed or presumptive action. So, let's take a few more examples of presumptive habitual action. Shayad Vimal ko angrezi aati hogi. Vimal probably knows English. So the speaker does not know whether Vimal knows English or not, but he presumes that Vimal knows English. The next one, ye acha restaurant hai, yahan bahut log aate honge. This is the same sentence we took before. It's a good restaurant. Presumably, a lot of people come here. Usko bahut jankari hai, shayad wo bahut padhti hogi. She is very knowledgeable. She probably reads a lot. So the speaker knows the girl is very intelligent. She knows a lot. She has a huge knowledge. So he presumes that the girl reads a lot. Let's take the presumptive continuous. It's a probable continuous action. It's a probable action that is happening during the time of speech. Here's an example. Abhi saat baje hai, choti ladki so rahi hogi. It's seven o'clock, the little girl is probably sleeping. So the sentence, it's seven o'clock, is creating a context and the action in cloud shows the presumptive action, a probable action. Here are a few more examples. Abhi bara baje hai, maaji ghar mein khana bana rahi hongi. It's 12 now, mother must be making lunch or mother is presumably making lunch. So again, the speaker does not know whether the mother is making lunch, but he's presuming she's making lunch now. The second one, Mujhe nao baje phone mat karna, main puja kar raha hunga. Do not telephone me at nine, I might be praying or I will probably be praying. The third one, Bache kaha hai? Shayad bahar khel rahe honge. Where are the children? They are probably playing outside. So one person is asking the other one, where are the kids? And the other one does not know, so he's presuming that the kids are playing outside. Finally, the presumptive perfective. The presumptive perfective is a completed action. It is a probably completed action. It's a probable action that is completed in the past. So in this sentence, the speaker does not know whether the action has happened or not, but he presumes that the action has happened. Here's an example. Ladke ko hai, usne ka khana khaya hoga. The boy has a stomach ache. He must have eaten the street food or he has probably eaten the street food. So again, the speaker knows that the boy has a stomach ache and he is presuming that the boy has eaten the street food. Here are a few more examples of the presumptive action. Dhyan ji, hafte bhar se college nahi aaye, shayad ve apne gaon gaye honge. Mr. Dhyan hasn't come to the college for a week. He has probably gone to his village. Again, the speaker does not know why Mr. Dhyan has not come to the college, but he is presuming that Mr. Dhyan has gone to his village. The next one is similar example which we took before. Tumko dard hai, tumne zarur kuch ulta sida khaya hoga. You have a stomachache, you must have eaten some junk food. Again, the speaker 
knows that you have a stomach ache, but he does not know why. And he's presuming that because you must have eaten some junk food, that's why you have a stomach ache. The presumptive action here is, Tumne zarur kuch ulta sida khaya hoga. Let's take a few more examples. Abhi das baje hain, shayad bacha so gaya hoga. It's 10 o'clock now, the child has probably fallen asleep. So again, it's a completed action. The speaker does not know whether the child has fallen asleep or not. He presumes that the child has fallen asleep because it's 10 o'clock. Ab tak usne puri kitab padhli hogi. He must have read the whole book by now. Again, this is a presumption from the part of the speaker that the person has already read the whole book. 